Today we're going to talk about the third most important thing in life, and that is coffee. Uh, right here I have a bunch of different brewing methods, uh, from French press to vacuum brewers, all these different things. But the point of today's video is to show you a quick way, because you're going to drink good coffee if you're going to drink coffee, and you don't want to ruin good coffee by putting it in a just regular old uh, coffee brewing machine like Mr. Coffee or something like that. So, first thing is, have good coffee. So go to your local uh, gentrified area of your town or city and find where they're brewing, co where they're uh, roasting coffee themselves and buy some freshly roasted coffee, preferably within a, a, a day to about a week. Um, this is from Odd Duck Coffee here in Wichita Falls and it's a Bolivia. So, here's the deal. You can measure things, you can be real precise and anal about this whole thing, but if we're just gonna do something before a workout or in the morning, uh, and you wanna have a quick routine, this is the way to do it. You can use all these other uh, fancy methods and, and get real precise with things uh, when you have a bunch of time or on the weekend, but uh, as I've done this longer and longer, every morning I just wake up and do this exact process. So, you'll need a little bit of equipment. First thing is you need a decent mug. You'll need a pour over device of some kind. This is a uh, Hario, I believe. Um, find it on Amazon. But this one has a mesh uh, filter, so you don't have to put paper in it. And then you'll need a grinder or have them grind the coffee beans for you. And you need a way to boil water too. So first things first, the this is about a 15 ounce mug, I believe. And the typical re recommendation is one standard coffee scoop, which I think is two tablespoons per six ounces of coffee. So uh, again, I'm not gonna measure this. What I am gonna do is take my scoop, and since that's about 15 ounces, I'm gonna take two big, giant heaping scoops. Don't use too little coffee, because then you'll be unhappy. A little bit more coffee uh, than is necessary would be preferred. So I'm gonna grind this here, and I use a medium grind for this. And to get the right amount of water, I'm just gonna take my mug. Fill it up and I'm gonna boil just this amount of water. Now this is a, again, a fancy uh, tea pouring kettle type thing. Uh, there's a bunch of different versions you can get now. This one allows you to control the pour, um, but you can use an electric kettle, you can use a tea kettle, whatever. Just get the water boiling. All right, so once the water starts boiling, water boils at what, 200 and something degrees, 12 degrees. Okay, now the water's boiling, boils at 212 degrees, I think it is. So I'm gonna take the water off and just let it relax for a minute. And then as I do that, I'll pour my coffee grounds in. If you're using a grinder like this, you'll have some static going on in there, so it'll stick to the sides. Just shake it around, bump it, whatever, so you don't get coffee grounds everywhere. Now, when I start pouring this, if it's good coffee, if it's freshly roasted, you'll get what's called the bloom. So first thing I wanna do is just get all of the grounds wet. Don't yell at me because you read on the internet that it needs to be a certain amount of water per coffee. We don't care about that right now. We just want to brew some good coffee. So there's the bloom and you see the grounds releasing some gas. So that takes anywhere from 20 to 30 seconds or so. I don't ever let it go 30 seconds, but I just wait until it stops kind of moving. And then your job's going to be to take all of this water and pour it over the grounds. Feel free to get real nerdy about your technique on pouring, but my rule is just not to pour it too fast. I want this whole thing to take about four minutes or so. Just let some of the water go through. Get all the grounds nice and evenly moist. So 
since some of the water stays on the grounds, you're gonna have you're gonna end up with less coffee than uh, water that you originally started with. So that leaves room for your cream or uh, half and half or whatever other thing you want to do to your coffee. But that is it. You have a good cup of coffee in um, about five minutes, and you haven't compromised your integrity by using a automatic drip coffee machine.